So, hey, what's up guys? It's me Hari Lakshman here and as E3 is about to come to a close, these are the 5 things that I personally like. The first thing is the sequel for God of War. In all honesty, I expected a remastered version of a God of War game, but surprise, they brought in a new sequel for the great God of War game and this adventure looks very promising as Kratos has a son and Kratos must teach his son about the art of fighting and blah 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 or something in the road of that. The next thing that intrigued me is the reboot for the Spider-Man game. If you are familiar with Insomnia games, you know that they get the job done and they have high hopes for them and I believe that they will create a really good Spidey game. And this time, it's said that it's not related to the movie and it's a free game with free roaming and I hope that it's as good as Spider-Man 2. The next game that caught my attention is of course Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Now Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 is done by Bandai Namco for the fans and they have told us that they will support this game for nearly a year with DLC and free packs and they'll make sure that they will bring in the fixes, the bug fixes and all of those stuff which were requested by fans themselves and if a fan wants a new character that will be brought in as well. Now there is a new city known as Kanton City which is like 7 times bigger than Tokitoki City. You guys know how big Tokitoki City was with less detail but I believe that this city is a bit bigger as per what other people have told and we can fly there that's a good news with lots of new enemies, lots of new stories we'll get to know in the future. The next game that intrigued me was Watch Dogs 2. I wasn't sure if this game was coming out or not but surprisingly it did. It is said that Watch Dogs 2 is a refined version of Watch Dogs 1 and they expect it to do better compared to Watch Dogs 1. The final game that intrigued me was Batman VR. Batman VR is said to be one of the best VR games as told by the fans at E3. It's not just a gimmick guys, I heard that it has the same Arkham series framework and you live the life of the great billionaire Bruce Wayne and you can relive the series as the Batman himself. And that's pretty much it guys. Now please do note that these are my personal opinions so you guys might have something better like Resident Evil 7 or something else but for me these were the 5 things that intrigued me. So guys, let me know in the comment section below about what intrigued you guys and I'll definitely talk to you guys well in another video. So this is Hari Lakshman signing off. Peace.